I remember when I was 12 years old and I was in Miami Beach in the morning and there was this crew of workers that would go into the sea, to the shore, with nets and they would get the sargassum seaweed out of the water with nets and they drag it out to the shore, to the sand. And then a machine would come and would clear off the, the sand, everything that was in it, including the sargassum seaweed, and it would flatten out the sand. And I remember that I walked up to, I guess the supervisor was an old man that was outside kind of directing the people where to go with the nets to get the sargassum. And I told the man, I said, listen, um, you know, there's a lot of animals that live in that seaweed. And I grabbed my bucket and I filled it up with water and I grabbed some of the seaweed and I shook it in there, you know, and I, I showed him, you know, all these uh, shrimp, beautiful shrimp came out uh, that looked like the seaweed. They, they had evolved or they had changed to look like it. And there was crabs in there. There was some fish that were, they're all strange looking. They're all, they looked, they, they were camouflaging in the seaweed, so they looked like seaweed. And I remember the man looking at the bucket and he called the crew out. And he showed the crew, he went in there in the waves and he showed the crew the fish that I had gotten in the bucket. Then he came out, he gave me the bucket and they kept on doing what they were doing and I kept on doing what I was doing. Well, a year later, in the same spot, we'd go there for summer, a man comes up to me and he says, are you the sargassum boy? And I'm, excuse me? He's like, are you the boy that showed me all the critters that lived in that sargasm? And I'm like, yeah, oh, now I remember you. Yes, yeah, so it was me. Yeah. And he's like, well, I just wanted to let you know, since the day you showed me all these creatures lived in that sargasm, we stopped pulling the sargasm out. I just wanted to let you know. And, you know, a 12-year-old... I'm like, okay, you know, I kept on doing what I was doing. But now that I look back, I'm like, good for you, 12 years old and you're making a difference.